What is up, everybody? Pokeback Ripper back at it again, and today we're going to be opening up the whole thing. We're going to be opening up a booster box of Stellar Crown. Now, I have two of these. So I'm keeping one sealed for now. We'll see how that goes. And um, opening up this one, this is the one that my wife uh, picked out out of the two that I got. Um, and so we're going to be getting into this and seeing what we pull. Obviously, if you've already seen the, uh, the video, you, you know we've already pulled the um, the big card out of that this set, the Terrapagos uh, EX Special Illustration Rare, out of a three-pack blister uh, that we got in Scotland. Shout out to Scotland. Thank you for providing that for us. Um, but today we're going to be opening up 36 packs of the uh, Stellar Crown Booster Box. So we are going to be trying to put this together. We're going to start with the uh, the right side here. So yeah, we're going to be start trying to put this together. Um, you know, I'm definitely liking this set so far. I haven't opened up a, uh, a ton of this, but excited to see sort of like what we get. I'm going to be saving all the reverses. And first off, we got the... We got the uh, Illustration Rare Reboot. I really do like this card. I like the whole vibe of like the uh, fire and ice and everything like that. So that'll be our first um, hit there. And then the code card for everybody there. So we'll put that to the side. Make sure that we save everything for everybody and get this bad boy sleeved up. So I am, as I said, I'm, I'm really liking this set. Um, but I definitely feel like it is a sort of a precursor to Surgeon Sparks that's coming out in uh, November. Um, you know, I think that's going to be a really huge set, obviously, have, having a Pikachu as sort of the, you know, the set there. Nothing in that one, but we do have the code card for everybody. I'm not really sure if y'all have been using the, um, the code cards. Like, I don't play the online... TCG, um, but I feel like it's something that I might want to um, get into because it might help me sort of learn a little bit more um, about the TCG. Um, but I did, I've been watching some videos about uh, TCG Pocket, that new app that's coming out. I believe it's, uh, I think it's in October. It's either at the end of this month or the end of. Uh, next month and honestly that looks pretty cool too so i'm excited to see what that looks like it does look like we have something in the back here we got our nice mel metal ex so that's the next hit of this box and the code card for everybody there um so yeah some some updates in terms of what we've been trying to get for new openings i have actually been doing pretty well and getting some stock for that specialty set video that I've been telling um, everybody here about. So, you know, what I've been, uh, let's see what I've picked up so far. Some of the big things, probably the biggest thing that I've been picking up is uh, Shining Legends. I, so I got three packs of Shining Legends from my local card store. What else have I picked up so far? Pretty much all of the sort of like Sword and Shield, Scarlet and Violet special sets, except for, honest, funnily enough, Crown Zenith. I just haven't picked it up. I mean, I will be able to, uh, we got another EX there. We got our Galvantula EX. So I will, um, I'll pick up Crown Zenith at some point. Like, I'm not too worried about, you know, finding that. But the other things that I, I'm trying to sort of see how I want to, um, yeah, how I want to get that stuff, like, all situated. Um, because I do like buying it in person, because I can feel like I can see the packs and, and see if they've, like, been tampered with or anything like that. Or I can ask the store, like, where they got it from. Um, but, yeah, we'll, we'll sort of see. The ones that I'm still um, going to be looking at is... Uh, Dragon Majesty. So really all the Generations, which is the only um, XY era special set. Generations, I still got to figure out how I sort of want to fund that because those are, those are pretty expensive 
Um, and then uh, Dragon um, Dragon Vault to Sun and Moon special sets. We got to see how we want to do that. Um, yeah, I've gotten most of the all the Scarlet and Violet, so I've picked up some 151. Um, I picked up some uh, Shroud of Fable, Paldean Fates. So all that, uh, uh, Pal uh, yeah, Paldean Fates. So all that stuff there. We're going a little cold on this box. Um, I have heard that the number of pulls has been pretty good. You know, just sort of like regular Scarlet and Violet, but very similar to Twilight Masquerade in terms of like the caliber of pulls. Obviously right now, with this set, it's still relatively new, so we're not really sure, like, what is going to happen to, uh, ooh, we got a gold, our first gold, so we got the gold bravery charm, it's gold, just something about it, it hits something different, there's the code card for y'all to scoop up, so as I was discussing, not having the greatest, like, caliber of hits, you go on and get that gold card. I just also picked up a binder for um, for Seller Crown. I uh, I did buy like one of the vault binders for Twilight Masquerade. You know the ones that they sort of designed based on the um, based on the color scheme of the set. Um, but honestly, like I just want to get colors that I really like. So I picked up a nice forest green. Um, binder. I'm really excited to put it up there. The only problem is that I'm sort of running out of space on this one shelf that I had set aside. I think we might have something in this pack. Yep, do that a regular dox bun. How do y'all say this card? Because I feel like with the dog, it's a dachshund, right? And so I feel like it's just dox bun, but I've been hearing like dash bun. I've been hearing like pretty much da dash bun and uh, but I, I feel like Doc's bun, you know, it's a dachshund and it's a bun. Makes me a little bit hungry when I'm thinking about him. So what else has been going on? Um, Life-wise, um, this past week was uh, pretty crazy. It was getting over a, uh, a cold, so I'm glad to be... Ah, uh, the Joltek. I, I've already pulled this, to see that, um, but I really do... Have I pulled this? I've seen it a bunch, but I really do like this card. So, nice illustration rare there. So, we are getting through. Honestly, we have six hits so far. And we still have seven packs on this first side. So, and it's hard to say whether or not um, the uh, cards have sort of gotten shifted in the booster box. But, um, yeah, we're doing pretty good in terms of the number of hits. You know, we got two illustration rares, we got a gold, we got three regular EXs, so we're really filling up the uh, the hit pile. I probably just jinxed us there a little bit, but what are you going to do? Um, something else I wanted to let y'all know, let me see if you have gotten this far in the video, is obviously you know, based on our boy over there, that Ampharos is my favorite uh, Pokemon. Got another got another hit. We got a full art Metacham. Awesome. I love that background. It's very sort of like 70s sort of retro. Um, so yeah, continuing to pile up the hits there. Wouldn't it be wild if we pulled another um, Terrapagos? I would love another special illustration rare, of course. Um, yeah, so obviously you know my favorite Pokemon is Ampharos. And I, I have a, a list of, now I don't have any of the packs for it, but I have a list of all the modern sets that Ampharos um, appears in. And of course, oh, got our ace spec. So that's awesome there. Um, some of the sets are honestly like pretty expensive. Um, Ampharos, I think, has two or three cards in team up. Um, Ampharos has just like a regular sort of non-hollow and reverse rare in Evolving Skies. And so I, I do want to do a video at some point where we just open up all the sets that can contain Ampharos. 
But what I was also thinking, ooh, can you all see that that Jirachi looks like really faded? Is that just me? Let's look at it against Wooloo. I don't know, maybe it's, maybe it's just me, but maybe it's just me. It looks a little faded to me. Sorry, everybody. There's a code card for y'all. But, you know, aside from sort of like the major, major, you know, favorite Pokemon, obviously I got like Blastoise here, like Blastoise, Charizard, Venusaur, Pikachu. You know, I feel like outside of like Gen 1 Pokemon, um, you know, I'd love to hear from you in the comments, like what your favorite Pokemon is. And then maybe what we can do is we can have like an opening where... I'm sorry if you didn't see that. An opening where, you know, because we're still pretty small on the channel, um, where you all give me, like, your favorite Pokemon, and I try and source sets um, that have that Pokemon up here. And then any, maybe anyone that I pull, I'll, like, give away. I don't know how that would really work, but, uh, yeah, what do you think about that? Because, you know, there's there's... There's every single Pokemon, obviously, in the, you know, National Pokedex that, um, that we have, but, yeah, it'd be kind of cool to sort of see which sets make up these, um, you know, these favorite Pokemon of yours. We got our Worm, got our Earthworm EX, regular EX, to finish up the right side of the, uh, the box there. Let's go ahead and sleeve that, uh, bad boy up. Let's see what we got so far in the uh, first half of the box. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have nine so far. So either this box is cracked or this left side is gonna be real rough. So let's, uh, we'll uh, categorize these. These spec there. We'll do the uh, illustration rare full art, so. Oh, I didn't sleeve Joltik. I'm sorry, little buddy. Let's get you in a sleeve there. I really do like this card. Probably just... What's wrong with me? There we go. So we'll get that uh, all situated here. I do want to count to see if we open up... Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten... 11, 12, 13, 15, 16, <laughs> 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, so there was two extra packs on that side. I felt like it was a lot. So hopefully we'll still have some, uh, some hits on this left side. Here's our little electric bug there before i think we have we have something y'all we have something we got the cinderus a cinderus full art which we pulled in the last video so that's pretty dope so we're starting off the second half pretty strong let's get this bad boy in a sleeve that one will be going into our uh our trade binder that we can use to trade other people or you know get more more product for more openings. Um, some updates in terms of like my other things that I'm doing. Um, I actually, I'm sure you, you know, you probably heard in previous videos that I own and operate a trading card game, trading card uh, vending machine. I'm actually going to be giving that up. It's supposed to be uh, picked up and then delivered. Um, on Tuesday, so I'm actually filming this like two days, um, or the day before that I actually post it, so this is pretty much in, uh, real time, but I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be selling the vending machine, you know, it's just, it's caused a lot of, uh, just sort of like, not stress, but just, there's just been a lot extra that I didn't expect, um, ooh, Cinderus matching up there. Um, and I just uh, think it's just not good for my sort of like 
mental state to sort of manage that right now. Um, I have other things that I sort of do on the side, and I'd rather give my attention to those uh, those things. So um, I'm definitely going to be, looks like we got something else in here. Let's load all this since we clearly saw that we had a, uh, a poll. What do we think we got? We have we have a special illustration rare briar. Wow, we got another SIR out of this box. So that's awesome. SIR trainer. So yeah, this box is this box is hitting. This box is definitely hitting. So I used to be able to sort of get things, not like at like super distributor costs in terms of booster boxes, but like, you know, pretty good, like you know, what you might sort of see if you bought something in bulk. So it is going to be a little bit more expensive to get cards to uh, open for the channel in terms of uh, modern, but that's not going to stop me. We have our nice little terrifying apple there, a little hydrapple regular EX. So yeah, how many pulls do you think we're going to get out of this box? Because we're already up to like, what, 13? We still have lots of packs left, so... Make sure to, to shout out my wife for picking out this box because we have a hyper rare and a special illustration rare in the same exact box, which I have not seen. So that's pretty awesome. So we'll see what else we can get out of this box. Maybe we can get another full art, especially that Lapras. Um, that Lapras is just, it's just beautiful, especially with that rainbow background. See what other cards am I sort of feel? I mean, I'm feeling a lot of cards in this set. Um, I like the Golfin, which I think I've mentioned before. Um, yeah, the special illustration rare um, Galvantula is really awesome. So definitely wanting to uh, pull that if possible. Do you think we could actually get maybe another gold or hyper rare action out of this box? I would highly doubt it. But yeah, maybe a couple more illustration rares would be dope. You know, help fill out the binder. But of course, as I have spoken it, the uh, existence has been minimal. So what we got three, we have seven packs left. So I'm, I'm thinking we'll probably get, yeah, at least two more, hopefully. Maybe three more. And we'll sort of see how this uh, box shakes up. It's obviously always hard to sort of tell, except for like Ace Specs, you know, what you're getting. That Lacey Special Illustration were awesome, uh, would also be pretty awesome to uh, to pull. But yeah, we actually finally, so I just filmed this the other day. If you've made it this far, thank you. Consider, you know, subscribing to the channel. Hit that like button if you uh, so desire. I'm really just here because I like to open the cards and I want to... Uh, yeah, share it with everybody. But I did just film my PSA return, 15 cards. Honestly, I was, I was like very, very surprised. Um, you know, I don't really submit cards to like be sure that I'm gonna get a 10, which, <gasps> nice. So we doubled up on the bubble story, pulled it in the last video and we have it again. So that is definitely gonna go into the, we're gonna sort of see maybe what that looks like on the back. Cause it could be cool to have this one submitted for grading. Um, it's actually looking pretty, pretty good. Sometimes with these illustration rares, like the print lines in the Scarlet and Violet era are not great, but honestly it looks pretty good, but I'll keep that over there. Really wanna pull that Squirtle just like everybody else. Um, but yeah, the PSA submission came back awesome. 15 cards, and uh, we, got a, we got a lot back in 10. So that'll be actually coming out next week. So if you like those types of videos, Crispin, we got a Crispin full art. Man, this, seriously. I, I haven't watched like a ton of these openings, but I, I do not think I have seen this many hits in one booster box. So we'll count it out, obviously, at the end. And uh, thanks again, <laughs> my wife, for picking this one out because this has definitely been like the best booster box I've opened in a while. And it looks like we got another ace spec. 
So two, we got Grand Tree. We got some stuff there. So another A spec, two A specs in one box. Um, yeah, I am very, very happy. So we have two packs left. Oops, let me just save this uh, this one up. Um, I really appreciate all of you that are like commenting on the video, you know, encouraging me. Actually, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this one first. Um, encouraging me to just continue to open stuff, you know, it really does mean a whole, whole heap. Um, and yeah, I'm going to keep opening as long as I like the stuff that I'm opening. I'm going to keep opening it and, um, filling out binders and opening up cool stuff. And, you know, maybe next year we'll start doing like some like, vlogging and stuff like that from... I just bought tickets to, I already had tickets for Card Party East in Florida and Tampa. Um, we have our last pack here. Thanks again, everybody, for uh, for tuning in. And we'll finish off with a nice Blastoise EX. So our last hit of the box and our last pack. Thanks so much for that last pack magic, everybody. Let me sleep this one up, and then uh, we can count the number of hits that we, uh, whoops that we got so and that's the other one we had one two three four five six seven eight yeah this this box was definitely cracked so we got one we got blastoise ex grand tree three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And the fact, obviously, we had no double bangers. This means every other pack, basically almost every other pack had a hit. So thanks again. Obviously, the big hitters there, that is that Bravery Charm and then that Briar Special Illustration Rare. So thanks, everyone, for tuning in. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.